it's for the selective you know it's not those watered down candy everybody must like me like i always say welcome back to my channel if you are new though welcome please subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i upload the next video okay so you saw the title this video will be about my recommendations for workplace or office space perfumes um, i personally work in a hospital setting environment kind of situation so i am usually in other people's personal space and consequently they're in my personal space so i need perfumes that are you know welcoming nothing offensive but i also like to wear scents that are unique and that suit my personality so work or office perfumes don't have to be boring or anything like that. The fragrances I am sharing with you today are scents that you could wear if you have a desk job or your job requires you to move around a lot or you interact a lot with people. So I have thought of all those scenarios and have put down a number of perfumes that I think would be great for whatever work situation you have going on. These scents can also be just everyday signature scents so you don't have to think about it when you pick them up so anyway let's just start and not ramble scent number one these fragrances are not in any particular order although the first two i think are the most basic simplest of the perfumes i'm going to show you so let's start with the first one i have flower bomb by Victor and Rolf, popular scent. Um, I would recommend this for an office or a workplace because it's quite simple. Although it's sexy and nice. Um, so this is an oriental floral perfume and oriental, for those who don't know, oriental just in basic terms, means basically um you've got spices when you think of herbs and when you think of dry um musky ingredients and then you just add a touch of sweetness to them then you have yourself an oriental fragrance so this one is a more oriental floral so it has a little floral aspect to it but the mask makes it smell sexy although for me i think it's great for everyday wear i do not consider flower bomb as a sexy seductive scent anymore um it's not a date night scent for me because i have since graduated okay now i'm on to <laughs> better and uh, you know more appropriate scents for dates this is not this is teenager seductive for me this is no longer my lane okay <laughs> So um, yeah, I wear this to work and I get compliments. People just say, you smell so good. Thank you. What are you wearing? What is that fragrance? And I tell them Flower Bomb by Victor and Roth. They're like, oh, I saw that at the drugstore. You know what I mean? So. I kind of want to have a bit of exclusivity with the perfumes that I wear. This is just so well known, although it's really good. It's known for a reason. You know, it's well known for a reason. It's well loved for a reason. It's no longer my date sexy scent. This is like an everyday, you know, regular sexiness. <laughs> so yes, I would recommend this one for an office space workplace setting okay or signature scent really quickly a few notes um 
in this perfume uh, patchouli freesia um, centifolia rose um, sandback jasmine so all these ingredients make it a bit woody a bit of a, like a white floral basically um, so yes flower bomb by Victor and Rolf so next up of my most basic scents <laughs> in this set of perfumes that I'm gonna show you is Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo it's in this textured glass bottle this perfume okay it's described as a feminine yet empowering scent with a lot of sensuality in it and i have to agree with that um but then again i have since graduated although for every day not even thinking about it or don't want anything complicated or i just don't i'm in a rush i always keep this perfume in my car or in my work bag it is a go-to just because it's you can't go wrong with it okay it's it's got patchouli and you know it's a um floral fruity more fruity than floral um it has a bit of mask in it it has a touch of um freshness to it um so yes i would recommend jimmy choo for an office space if you're just starting out in perfumes and you don't have a lot of experience or exposure to different types of other perfumes this is you know a go-to to start a collection so yes as you can see i have now gone through quite a bit of some of my perfumes since the last time i made a perfume video so yes um because I've been using them a lot and sometimes I would have worn a different fragrance at home then I'm out there I've been super busy and the fragrance I wore in the morning has faded then I just reach out for this one and spray I get compliments for this as well but then again the woman will be like oh yeah I saw that at the drugstore <laughs> Jimmy Choo. Oh, that's right. I've heard of it. Uh, and I'm just like, yeah, well, like, I don't really mind as long as I know I smell good, but it's not something that I want to happen all the time. I want to have a bit of mystery in my perfumes. These are so popular, but honestly, you can never go wrong if you grab this. Any season, I would say. I would mostly gravitate towards this perfume for like afternoon to night jobs and um, even like early mornings, but it doesn't really matter. It's an all rounder. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Okay, on to the next scent. C by Giorgio Armani is the third fragrance that I would suggest for work, office, day-to-day -day scent. Okay, so I bet that you are not surprised that I am mentioning this fragrance in this video because it is a staple, okay? It is a perfect signature scent. It is a perfect workplace scent. You will get many compliments. It's a masky, floral, slightly spicy um, scent. Mm, aromatic, okay? A bit woody, but it's all blended perfectly. You cannot go wrong with these scents at work, okay? So go ahead and check it out. If you have not looked at C by Giorgio Armani, you will love it. It can take you to work, then take you to pickups of kids or whatever you, you do on a day-to-day -day basis. 
and then take you to dinner, you know, so it's a safe scent for all those occasions. There's no way I would not mention it in this video. So yes, go ahead and try it. Love that patchouli in here. The florals, the mask, everything is blended and done very well. The sillage is not that wide. I mean, when you brush past someone, they'll be able to smell you um, when you are in a closed space, car, office, they'll be able to smell you, but it's not off offensive at all. Um, it's pleasant. It's a pleasant scent. It's a feminine, pleasant scent, okay? Don't wear this perfume to a wedding, a party, just because there are other perfumes that serve those purposes much better. It is one of my most favorite, but I have to admit that it is now a basic scent in 2020. There are so many other perfumes that have come out that are better suited for other occasions. So for this one, I would say office, signature scent, that type of scenario would be great for it. Don't be wearing this to special occasions and this and that because there are other scents that would work much better in those types of scenarios. Okay, C is a must have. Okay, so yes. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on to another perfume. Just so I let you know, this one is a 150 ml bottle. So of course it looks huge. It'll take me a while to get through it. Um, but yes, I might have to share it. C by Giorgio Armani. Next up is Coco Mademoiselle, but the intense version. If you have watched my other fragrance videos, you would know that I had the Coco Mademoiselle original and it was good while I had it, but I got sick of it. I didn't like the sharp citrusy um, initial spray. I, I just didn't like it and it became boring for me. But other members of my family love that perfume still. It's their staple, it's their go-to, it's their signature scent. Although I prefer the intense version, I do appreciate that Coco Mademoiselle, the original version is a good fragrance. It does a great job at making the woman feel empowered, smell nice and feminine, classy, and all those great things. For me, it just, I was no longer interested. But the Intense is still in my collection and I still love it. I have placed it in this video because I think it's perfect for office, day-to-day -day, um, scent, perfume, fragrance. It is for a classy woman with a nice professional job. This is an independent, hardworking woman, a Chanel woman who is very confident and is a boss in her own regard, you know? So depending on what job you do, I wouldn't say <laughs> because back when I was very, very, very young. I did have like a, what is it? A receptionist job, a sales assistant, those types of job. I, I wouldn't be wearing Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, original or intense. I just wouldn't wear that to that job 
you know what I mean? This is more office, professional, you know, um, sophisticated scenarios. Yes. This is heels or a lab coat or, you know, just very professional settings. Classy handbag or briefcase or th that type of job, okay? Coco Mademoiselle Intense has a cords of uh, patchouli, amber, and it has tonka bean and vanilla from Madagascar. I love that Chanel's ingredients are all great quality. This is a well-rounded, well-blended perfume, honestly. It's sensual, classy, feminine. This is a signature scent for a classy woman, a sophisticated woman. You know, this would be her everyday perfume. So, yes. There are certain perfumes that I'm gonna mention here that I tend to gravitate towards um, and these perfumes are more for a confident, classy type of person. This is not like tomboy type of vibe. No, this is a girly, feminine person, you know? So, this is expensive smelling, luxurious. Anyway, I do enjoy Coco Mademoiselle Intense as a signature scent for work, office, day-to-day -day, um, activities. It's nice, okay? That's the bottle right there. All right, let's move on to our next perfume. The next fragrance is Coco by Chanel. The perfume EDP version, 100 ml. Okay, it was only right for me to mention the next Chanel perfume. Great for workplace, office spaces. This is quite a strong perfume. It has a sharp, strong opening. It's very empowering. It's very, you know, confident. <laughs> it's for a sophisticated woman, sophisticated occasion. It is Chanel, honestly. Um, so if this suits your job, then go for it. Uh, it lasts for a long time. It has, it's an oriental spicy scent. So it does have, you know, coriander at the top notes. <clears throat> I mean, there's, there's so many, so many different notes in this perfume that are blended so well. You can't really, I can't really pick out anything in particular. Top notes, base notes, middle notes are all really nice. Oh, it has like a powdery dry down, like a freshy um, smell when I wear it. If you have a job that requires you to wear a uniform or a suit and, you know, just very formal jobs, this would be perfect for it. Um, I know it's a strong perfume, but you can only spray as much as you think you need. Um, it has a presence about it. These perfumes are great if you know your personality, then select accordingly. If you're a person who likes to hide in the background, not be noticed, just wants to come and do their hours and go home, 
then I would say do not wear Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel is for a woman with a presence. Actually, men can wear this as well. It's unisex, definitely. Um, yes, so if you have a presence about you and you have a, a semi-strong or strong personality, quite confident, well, you know, spoken and, you're outgoing, then go ahead and wear Coco Chanel because it does grab attention. Um, yes, it's not for the shy. <laughs> okay, um, if you're a lawyer, a doctor, a, um, a nurse, a business person, you're into business, all those jobs you can wear Coco Chanel. If you're a teacher and you're around students and children a lot, maybe if you're a university professor or yes, then go ahead and wear Coco Chanel. But if you're a teacher who works with children and you know, young kids, I would say do not wear this one because it's too strong and too mature. You know what I mean? And it's not friendly and inviting. It, it kind of will give you a, a cold, um, too serious vibe to kids. You know, it's not welcoming to children <laughs> at all. Um, yeah, no. So depending on what job you do, go ahead and try this one. It is a classic. It is a vintage smell is not for the faint of heart it's not those watered down candy everybody must like me like i always say <laughs> it's 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 for the selective you know um, a chanel woman would understand this perfume better i think it's more friendlier compared to the number five um, but definitely still for the selective. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. Okay, I'll leave it there for now. Okay, so this is Coco Chanel. Lovely, sophisticated scent. Just going with the theme of classy scents, I had to mention Shalimar. EDP, I have done an unboxing of this perfume among others. Um, that video I will link in the description box. So go ahead and check it out. See what other perfumes I bought. But anyway, I am so glad that I added this to my collection. It is a must have for fragrance lovers. Honestly, it is a classic scent. That is why I am mentioning it after the Chanel, the Coco. Now, this would be perfect for a sophisticated job. Okay, classy job. Just like the Chanel Coco, it is such a wonderful, wonderful scent. Shalima came out in 1925. Okay, there's a whole love story behind this. It has been around for a long time. Guerlain's most classic scents, okay? So uh, this scent has lemon, bergamot, it has jasmine, Oh yeah, May Rose, because you can you can smell the ingredients, although they are still blended very, very well. So it also has opoponax and tonka bean vanilla, all those great um, ingredients. So for those who do not know, opoponax <laughs> comes from sweet myrrh. Now, how is sweet myrrh made? Sweet myrrh is made from gum resin. And what is gum resin? You know, when you make an incision in a tree, that juice that comes out, that the golden yellow honey looking juice, like oxidizes, becomes really hard. Then they take that and use that for different 
things, you know, incense, fragrances, and so on. So they do that in different ways, you know, um, soaking in alcohol. I mean, getting sidetracked. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to let you know what Opoponax is. And May Rose is actually an ingredient also used in a lot of Chanel fragrance. Okay. Mainly Chanel number no. five. That is like one of the main ingredients in Chanel number no. five. So it's it makes sense that Shalimar by Guerlain is the same vibe as Chanel number no. five, that classic old school vintage, womanly, feminine, strong, classic, you know, that's the same vibe as this perfume. Wow. Okay. So I suggest this perfume for workplace office sense if you're in a sophisticated professional job and you're a confident person who doesn't like to hide themselves or just blend in. They like to stand out and has quite a strong position in their workplace. Do you know what I mean? Like a boss boss woman <laughs> so yeah um that's shalima by Guerlain. we'll have to have a longer chat about this perfume because it has a lot of history so stay tuned um for my next coming videos yeah we'll see lovely oh Perfect. So compared to the last scents that I was talking about, this next fragrance, Tresor Midnight Rose, is much lighter, friendlier, and <laughs> less serious. Okay, so it is a citrusy, fruity rose. And I never used to really like rose scents, but this was one of the ones I could tolerate because the rose is not too forward. It has a touch of raspberry in it and you can smell that. So it's, it's quite nice and friendly and citrusy as I mentioned. It is a great signature scent. It is a great office scent. Some of you might be surprised that I mentioned this as a workplace scent, but honestly, if you wore it in that setting, you will get a lot of compliments. You will still be classy and not seductive, romantic or anything like that, just because of the setting you're at. The citrusy for me, um, the citrus in this perfume does not make me feel too sexy for an office or workplace. Um, it's not a date night scent for me anymore because I have graduated, as I mentioned. Um, I still have similar taste as before, but I think um, for dates, you want something that's a little bit more quality, A little bit more grown up quality sexy not citrusy when i think sexy i don't think citrus okay um daytime sexy yes maybe but this is great for office okay this is very appropriate um so yes if you want to smell fresh clean feminine then go ahead and get this one love the raspberry love the rose in it um, the sillage is not too wide. They can smell you within a meter radius. Close proximity will be, you'll be safe. No one's gonna find you offensive with this. Even if they don't like rosy scents, this is not a typical rosy scent because it has that touch of raspberry. So yes, go ahead and give Trezor Midnight Rose a try for work. I do recommend this one as well, so yes. Let's say you're a person with exotic tastes, okay? You're just different and you like to stand out, you're confident and you wanna be different, okay? You just have a rarity about you. Um, alien, 
is a great workplace workplace scent for you because you don't want to be blended in with other people you want to stand out you want your personality to shine through you want everyone to know that you have arrived and so some people have this perfume as their most favorite signature scent for years and other people cannot stand this perfume on themselves but can kind of like it on other people it's just one of those it smells like sweet dirt to me. It, it has balsamic, you know, floral, woody scents and Indian jasmine. It is a white floral scent, but it's just very different. Okay, it is alien. So, um, just for something different go ahead and wear Alien to work. For me, I wear it in colder weather, um, just cause the cold weather hides it a bit better because it is quite strong as well. And I typically like sweet musky scents. And this one is, has a touch of sweetness, but you cannot detect it at all, okay? It's just so weird. It's weird, okay? But anyway, that's Alien by Mugler. Go ahead and try it. As I mentioned, I have something for everyone in this video. So if this is your vibe, go ahead and wear it to work, okay? All right, so back to friendly scents. I have Moschino Gold, fresh. There it is. If you have not tried this fragrance, what are you doing, okay? This, oh, is a tropical, fruity, woody, oh, perfume. It is so good. When you spray it on, you smell fresh, tropical, but you have a muskiness to it and it's simple scent, it's friendly for those intimate situations um, with strangers <laughs> at your workplace. Like, you cannot go wrong with this one, honestly. Mm, it is so good, okay? It has peach, mandarin orange, um, mango. Oh, okay, it's addictive. <laughs> to smell so go ahead and try this for your workplace this is good all year round even summer winter i think it just gives off a different vibe i always get compliments when i wear this fragrance all day long it's not even just one or two compliments it's it's many more and it's actually a very, very affordable fragrance, okay? So the fruits in here make it a touch sweet, but it's nothing a person who does not like sweet scents would not appreciate. Everyone would like this perfume on you. Um, please try this one, okay? Also because it's affordable, so we can always appreciate a quality perfume that has great affordability. Moschino Gold Fresh Couture. Auto Perform 100 ml. All right. We have Decadence by Marc Jacobs. Limited edition bottle. The bottle is typically green, so don't let that confuse you. This is a perfect work scent, okay? This is for anyone and everyone, I would say. It's addictive. <laughs> it is a sophisticated, strong scent. You only need a little bit of it, but it is a most loved perfume among women. It works great for the office. It's non-offensive, but 
you know, this is for a confident person. Of course, I mean, we all should be confident. <laughs> And yes, so it has like an earthy, woody vibe to it, like a floral, white floral vibe to it. It has um, orris root, vertiver, um, liquid ember. That's what makes it so addictive. <sighs> mm, yeah. Okay, it's a staple for a working woman, I would say office or outside the office you will smell good with this oh you just smell fresh clean but warm um, musky inviting wonderful it has um, Italian plum saffron iris papyrus wood yeah so I love that greenery woody scent so love it balsamic anyway go ahead and try this it's really good for work okay it's a great signature scent as well so lastly but not least okay i have Astor place by bond number nine. Oh, i this is perfect for work Okay, this is a woman woman. Bond number nine, Aster Place is a floral woody scent. I thought that I would never like floral scents, but this particular one has a woody aspect to it. It is very, very nice. Has a tropical woody musky vibe to it. This fragrance has red poppy buds strange ingredients okay mandarin violet leaves orris root and a floral woody the quality is definitely there. That woody scent is coming from the teak wood. Um, so yes. Mm. This is a feminine woman. It is a bright, um, wonderful day, Monday morning or whatever. And you just want to smell feminine and womanly it's not offensive it can be strong if you overspray but it's a safe scent but it definitely has that quality aspect to it you can smell that so it's quite different in that other perfumes other floral scents are not blended as good as this and the ingredients are a little bit different but um that's obviously a bond number nine signature thing where they like their scents to be rare and not have like a typical dna to them so despite all of that it is still a safe scent to purchase some people might not like it initially but it grows on you. Um, it is the essence of a woman, basically a confident woman who is not trying too hard, who is not trying to do too much, um, just smells good, but is wearing quality perfume. It has very nice oils. When you spray this on your skin, you can see the oils. So. Um, brands like Bond Number no. 9, Chanel, I don't worry about the ingredients, spraying them directly on my skin because I know that they use quality products as compared to some other brands that are questionable with their quality. <laughs> um, but Bond Number no. 9 is expensive for that reason because, you know, it's quality fragrance. And it'll take me forever to get through this bottle because I don't spray it too much. I like my scents to have like a 
one meter two meter radius siage just because yes i do work in a hospital environment and people are trying to get better and they have different um health conditions you don't want to um cause someone to have nausea or anything like that you know what i mean yes and it's just not great when people are trying to get better and here you are walking in with this strong as perfume and just shouting at the world that you're wearing perfume no you want it to be kind of close to your skin kind of blended with your own natural scent for people to identify that you did wear something of quality but you're not trying too hard you know it's an everyday thing you're, you're always classy and smelling good it's nothing unusual so yes but i love this perfume for work okay this is for daytime work sometimes i work at night but i would wear this one during the day so yes as you can see the bottle colors and designs kind of explain how the scent smells again i'm not like a citrusy floral kind of person i like my florals to be woody musky um warm and this is definitely that okay so yes that's bond number nine aster place well that does it for this video i genuinely hope that you thoroughly enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up and like the video leave me a comment as well in the comment section let me know what you thought of the fragrances i suggested and what fragrances have you been wearing for work what kind of job do you do and let's just chat in the comment section i am so excited to have this perfume video out if you have not seen my other videos i will link them in the description box and i hope to see you in my next video thank you again bye